Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steamboat Megan, licensed boat captain and theme park enthusiast. And in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys some of my favorite and some of my weirdest guest experiences while working for Disney World. So as to kind of end on a positive note, I'm gonna start with some of the weirder ones first and then I'll go to the better ones. So by far the weirdest experience I've ever had is this guy was talking to me in, while I was greeting at the International Gateway at Epcot and he was convinced that the boat is on a track. We get these people all the time. They think, oh, the boat's on a track. There's no way you're actually driving these boats. And so I explained how the boats work. Um, so basically the boat runs on a 360 degree propeller system. And so there's a little knob on the wheel and wherever that is pointing, that's where the boat's gonna go. So to go backwards, you put it down to like six on a clock and you give it power. So it basically, it can turn on a dime without moving forward or backwards. So this guy was saying how there's no way we're actually moving it. Uh, it's on a track, definitely. And his reasoning was because he said that captains would turn the boat without moving the wheel at all. So basically, I said, well, no, when you move the wheel to three or nine, it's going to turn either left or right, depending. And that's how the boat turns without you moving it. And he said, no, no, I've seen captains not move it at all, and it still moves. And I said, I'm sorry, that's really not how it works. And he said, when you're free sometime, just go ride the boat and you'll see. And I'm like, sir, I do drive these boats. That's kind of my job. So it was so weird. After explaining this multiple times, he was still convinced there was no way that we were actually driving the boats. So another one of the weirder guest experiences. So one of our docks is at the Swan and Dolphin Hotel. And there are two lines. There's one line that the boat goes to Hollywood Studios, and there's one line that the boat goes to the Yacht and Beach Club, the Boardwalk, and then Epcot. So a lot of times we get people in the wrong lines, or they get really confused because they don't just read the signs. So a lot of times guests will just pick and choose, but, a, but sometimes they take matters into their own hands. So I've had times where guests would just open the gates on their own and just come out on the dock. And due to safety issues, we cannot dock or depart a dock unless every guest is off of the dock. The only people allowed on the dock are people who are trained to drive the boats. So captains, uh, coordinators, and managers. So. There was one day I was coming back from Hollywood Studios and I was about to start loading and I noticed that the guests had opened up the gates and they had let themselves on the boat. And I was like, you know that we're not going to Hollywood Studios, right? And he was like, and they were like, oh, that's fine, where are you going? And I explained it to them and they were like, okay, we'll go. And I was like, next time just make sure you don't open the gates on your own. That's something that we have to do. And then, so that happens all the time and they'll leave the gates open and then just yesterday I was with a captain and I was driving and he had let a woman off of the boat at the last minute and she was leaving and then for some reason after he untied the back of the boat she decided she wanted to get back on the boat so she started to walk very quickly towards the boat and he was like ma'am I need you behind the yellow line we are already untied and we're underway we can't let you on the boat and she turns around just long enough for him to continue doing what he's doing and then she turns around and starts walking towards the boat again and he's like ma'am you have to go up the exit line and she just isn't getting it and so I start backing up the boat because I thought she was gone and she got back on the dock and starts trying to open the gate and finally he has had enough. He's like, ma'am, get, get in the exit, go up the exit and go down the correct line. You can't be on the dock. Finally, she cooperates. But my favorite story from the Swan and Dolphin is the other day, this woman is coming down the exit and I just tied up the boat and I look and I'm like, ma'am, you know you're in the exit, right? And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay, well, that's the exit. And so I ask her where she's going. And I said, well, we're going there too. So you're welcome to board. 
She's like, okay. And then I was like, just make sure you watch out for those signs. I said it in a very joking tone of voice. I wasn't rude or anything. But we left Swan and Dolphin and we went and we were docking at the Yacht and Beach Club. And as I was tying up the back of the boat, she takes my picture, but she didn't realize the flash was still on. So I don't know what her intent was. I don't know if she was gonna complain about me or what, but she decided she was gonna take a picture of me and it kind of backfired. So I thought that was pretty funny. All right, so now for one of my more positive uh, experiences with a guest. So if you've ever been to Walt Disney World, you know that they do celebration pit, uh, buttons. So they have happy birthday buttons, uh, happy anniversary buttons, uh, I'm celebrating buttons, things like that. So whenever I get guests who have the happy anniversary buttons and they've been together for a long time, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, however long, I like to ask them what their secret to marriage is. So a lot of times you'll get things like, oh, make sure you find common ground, or keep arguments short and sweet. Don't oversell anything. Just compromise, that kind of thing. But my favorite thing that I've ever heard was, I asked a couple who had been together for 50 years, I was like, so what's your secret to marriage? And he looked at me with a completely straight face and he's like, yes, honey. And they get on the boat and they leave. And that is by far been my favorite answer that I've ever heard for it. It was so funny and all the guests around were just laughing and they thought it was really cute. And my very, very favorite guest experience that I've ever had was there was one day that I was on a boat and I was deck handing and the crowd was really into what I was saying. I was making all my jokes and they thought they were really funny. So I kept joking and I kept kind of playing off the crowd, kind of doing my own thing. And so we dock at the Yacht and Beach Club and as I'm letting guests off the boat, um, this little girl looks at her mom and is like, mom, mom, hold on. And she comes up to me and she's got her brothers with her, her younger brothers. And she said, I just wanted to tell you that I thought your jokes were hilarious and that I think every boat should have a Megan. You've been the best captain we've ever had and we think you're awesome. And then her brothers just went on and on about how much they loved my jokes and which jokes they thought were funniest. And they even gave me some of their joke ideas. So that brightened up my entire day. It was so sweet that they came up to me and they took the time to tell me how much they liked me and how I helped to make their trip memorable. So I don't actually have the card with me, but another really cool guest experience I've had was me and a fellow Captain Gino were on a boat together. And I was driving and I docked the boat at Hollywood Studios and we were letting people off the boat. And a little bit of an older girl, uh, an older child, I would put her at maybe 10 or 11 years old. She had her princess dress on, her hair was all done. She walked up from the back of the boat and she handed me something. And once they left, I read it. And what it was, it was a little dumb dumb sucker taped to a, to an index card or to a little business card looking thing. And basically it said that they were giving these two cast members that they felt had gone above and beyond in doing their jobs and made their vacation truly magical. And so I actually still have the business card and it's taped to my mirror. It was one of the most sweet things that anyone's ever done for me while I was at work. So it just, it made me melt. I thought it was the sweetest thing in the world. So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you liked hearing my stories from the job, um, my guest experiences, make sure you leave a comment letting me know so I can make sure to write more down and bring you more in the future. But this is Steamboat Megan signing off.